Okay. All right, we're going to have to jump a little bit here thanks to difficulties with the lovely camera. Technical difficulties. Exactly. All right, so who is hurt by inflation? There are several categories of people we can put up here, but these are the easiest ones to look at and the ones you are most likely to see on the test. The first one is anyone on a fixed income. This includes anybody, for example, who is living on disability payments. If you're getting um, SSI or social, social Security disability, then that's pretty much a fixed payment. If you're living on a pension, then your pension amount is what it is, and that's not going to be adjusted based on changes in the price level. So anybody on a fixed income, when prices start to go up, they're just not going to have as much money to spend. So that's going to cut directly into their buying power and result in some hard choices. All right, the next group that's likely to be hurt by inflation, une unexpected inflation is probably the best way to put that, is anyone on an employment contract. This would be somebody, for example, whose salary is set for a year. It's only up for review at the end of that 12-month period. Or anybody who's under contract with a labor union where the contract is only negotiated periodically. Let's say, for example, that you are with the airline mechanics union and you have a two-year contract. For that two-year period, you're pretty much stuck in terms of your wages, your benefits, and all that stuff. If you're on an employment contract, then there's no renegotiation today, and you're going to have to wait on it. The next group that is hurt by unexpected inflation would be lenders, the banks. And you think, well, the bank's going to make money. It depends. The bank's goal is to charge a reasonable interest rate to the point where you, the borrower, will accept it, but also just still make money off you. If the money that you borrow is not worth the same amount as you pay back, the bank loses. Let's say, for example, that you go to the bank and the bank gives you a 5% fixed rate 30-year mortgage. That sounds pretty good. You know, the bank can live with it, you can live with it, everything's cool. That means for 30 years, that's not going to be renegotiated. What if inflation is higher than that 5%? Then suddenly, you, the borrower, are coming out on top because you borrowed money that was worth a lot more than the money you're paying back. Similarly, people have asked me before, if you win the lotto, should you take it in a lump sum or should you take it in lifetime payments? Take the lump sum. Always take the lump sum because it's going to be worth more today than it will be over the course of your lifetime. Take the money. Take the money. Okay, it's the same concept. So, what are ways that they can compensate for this? If you're on a fixed income, then there's really not a whole lot you can do except adjust your spending when the prices change. There's also complaining. I noticed that old people on a fixed income do that a lot. They Come on, they complain about how much stuff costs these days. Well, I do that, but, you know, oh well. Um... The next one, if you are on an employment contract, then you might be able to negotiate with an employer to get a COLA, a cost of living adjustment every year. A typical cost of living adjustment is 3% added to the value of your salary or to your wages. And that is meant to compensate for inflation that we think is going to happen. A lot of people in the United States today are not getting COLA adjustments because businesses can't afford it, and that's not making millions of people very happy. What can the bank do to try to mitigate the damage of inflation? They can add what's called an inflation premium onto the rate of the loan. That 5% fixed rate APR 30-year mortgage Okay, they think that the 5% is reasonable, but then they go, you know what, in 20 years, eh, that's not going to be such a good deal anymore. Let's add another 2% to that so that they're still making money. If they can anticipate the inflation, it's a lot easier to adjust for it. If it is completely unanticipated, then people in these categories are going to be potentially seriously hurt in terms of their buying power or with a bank with their profitability.